This is Lena's third appearance. How could she not have a CG limo burst yet? Ferris had one. Maybe it's because she doesn't have a pirate ship. Summoner Lena's Trustmaster rewarded some materia that boosts magic, spirit, then Esper evoke damage and evocation damage. Just that excellent Trustmaster reward for many evoke damage dealers, even if the evoke stats themselves aren't the greatest. Her Super Trustmaster reward is clothes that mainly boost magic, Esper evoke stats, evocation damage, and the parameters given from Esper stats. Then, when equipped to a Lena, Cryo, or Ferris, gives them 300 extra magic and spirit. Even if the unit isn't a girl from Final Fantasy V, it's still a great Super Trustmaster reward to give to any evoke damage dealer. On to her active abilities. Blessed Water Crystal can be used once per battle. It raises her fire and wind damage, obviously, by 30%, her magic by 280%, her limit burst damage by 200%, and fills her limit burst gauge if her limit burst happens to be at max level. Arts of Tycoon deals physical damage that scales off her magic stat and chains of Graviton Cannon. Summon Flaming Spirit requires one Evoke Orb per cast, and deals fire Evoke damage that chains of Chaos Wave Awaken. Summon Healing Spirit requires 5 Evoke Orbs, and in exchange it heals her team and fills their limit burst gauges by a nice amount. Passives. But for Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equip, Lena gains stats, and then will automatically fill the Evocation Gauge by 2 Orbs each turn. She doesn't have any killer buffs, as most Evoke Damage can't make use of them in the first place. In return, she has passives to boost Evocation Damage and her limit burst damage. She also prefers to carry 2 weapons in this form. When she enters the battle, she'll automatically fill your evocation gauge by half, and she automatically regenerates one orb each turn. Her normal attack has been changed to Heart of Water, Devotion, which deals evoke damage and heals their team. She can also summon any Esper within your team, and if that Esper happens to be Carbunco, Golem, or Touch or Sylphid, she'll activate an area effect which will raise everyone's Light, Earth, or Wind resistance, respectively, by 50%. At EX plus 2, she gets an instant limit burst, if her limit burst happens to be at max level. At EX plus 3, she gets 500 magic. Let's look at her limit burst. It deals fire evoke damage, activates a 100% re-raise buff on your team, and then activates an area effect that boosts your team's fire resistance by 50% and lowers the enemy's fire resistance by 25%. The Japanese version actually ended up buffing everyone's fire resistance by 50%, so this is a definite step up. Time to change forms. Summoner Lena's Brave Shift doesn't have a turn duration, but it does have a 5 turn cooldown. On to her active abilities. In this form, Lena's attack deals physical damage that scales off her magic stat. Sylph Spin deals wind damage, inflicts a 85% full break, a 120% wind imperil, and chains of absolute mirror of equity. Soaring Stat lowers the enemy's wind resistance by 130%, puts a revoke buff on Lena, and lets her evade two attacks. Sword Dance deals more damage, but it's not available until the third turn. Passives. But for Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equip, Lena gains stats, and loses the Evoke regen. In exchange for Evoke damage, Lena gains killer buffs, against beasts and plants. She retains the massive booster limit burst damage, and also has a small booster physical evasion as well. For that matter, she still prefers to carry two weapons. At the start of the battle, she'll automatically lower the enemy's stats by 70%, and their elemental resistance by 80%. Her normal attack has been changed to Lena's Pendant, which, when thrown at an enemy, uses wind damage and inflicts a 75% full break. She also has a passive provoke boost, but only up to 50%. Let's look at her limit burst. It deals damage, lowers the enemy's stats by 86%, and their wind resistance by 140%. Let's rank brave abilities. Raising the two just raises their damage output, and so just prioritize whatever you wish. Time to make a damage rotation. Given that Lena's two forms are suited to different fights, we'll just make two different rotations for each one. First, the base form where we'll assume fire is needed and her limit burst is at max level. On turn 1, triple cast summon flaming spirit. From here, depending on your esper orbs, stick with that or arts of tycoon. The point here is to activate her limit burst, lowering the enemy's fire resistance further. Then after that, activate blessed water crystal and two more attacks, and then use her limit burst once again. From there, it becomes a matter of spamming her fire attacks, sticking with evoke damage whenever you can. As for her brave shift, on turn 1, cast soaring step and double cast self spin. On turn 2, triple cast self spin. On turn 3, double cast self spin and top it off with sword dance. From here, you just triple cast self spin until her limit burst is ready. Once it is, use her limit burst, and on the turn after that, cast blessed water crystal and two attacks before using the limit burst again on the next turn. So, EX2, 
At EX plus 2, Lana gains 60 Limit Burst Crystals and her Super Trust Master reward. The Super Trust Master reward is very good for many evoke damage dealers, and given that there aren't too many clothes that boost it to begin with, it's definitely very useful. Getting her Limit Burst sooner rather than later is always a bonus as well, especially when both of her Limit Bursts have potentially useful effects. The base form can throw on a sort of rare Fire Area Imperil, while the second form has Strong Breaks and the Wind Imperil. As for EX plus 3, that's 500 magic, and while Lena is a strong unit, a lot of what makes her good comes from her skill set rather than damage. So how good is Summoner Lena? She's a bit of an odd unit, but ultimately very effective. Her base form is a fire evoke damage dealer, and while she's strong in her own right, her true claim to fame is the ability to lower the enemy's fire resistance even more. However, even though it seems like great support, it must be noted that Lena is not a supporter or the buffer in this form. Indeed, she's a magic damage dealer here, and, as such, doesn't have any regular imperils. This, of course, will barely be an issue so long as you're playing the game like a normal person, as I'm sure many of your fire damage dealers have their own imperils. She can also fill a large chunk of her team's limit burst gauges, but as that is reliant on a steady supply of evocation orbs, that might not be super super realistic. Her second form is a more standard magic attacker that deals physical damage. The breaks and imperils are what truly matters, with extremely easy 85% breaks and wind imperils ranging from 120-140%. to 140%. Still, for all her shrinks, there are several imperfections. Notably, what she's missing. Her base form can lower fire resistance even further, but she lacks regular imperils, amplification buffs, or even any imbues to speak of. But given that the original design actually ended up buffing your enemy's fire resistance, I think this is a definite step up already. Her wind form is also missing some tools, but then you realize the genius, that she's meant to be paired with Warrior of Light Barts, who not only chains of her, but also supplies the rest of the buffs that she's missing. If you want better buffs, you can always switch Barts with a Chocobo or a Mermaid, who, while they can't chain with Lena, can support your main damage dealer even more. Ultimately, Summoner Lena is an astounding unit, with the potential to push both fire and wind teams even further. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you get Summoner Lena. She's an excellent unit, especially with the new buffs, but I think I'll just wait to get her accidentally. You see, while Lena can really push your team further, I don't really care, and if I go after every great unit, I'd have no Lapis! Also, there are two collaboration robots I kind of want to get, and no offense to Leno, but it's kind of hard to argue against robots.